Hi, Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all of my team. I am Putri Natra Bentiasi as your moderator today. Today we will be talking about the Masuri Tom. Okay, let uh, me give some explanation about it. Masuri Tom is the crib of the legendary princess Masuri located in the village of Mawai, 12 kilometers from Kua. It is also known as Maka Masuri. Most of the Iceland natural attraction have fables attached in true Malay style and famous Masuri Tom is probably its most famous legend. Okay, the story begins uh, with the beautiful Masuri, a maiden or princess by some accounts, born over 200 years ago, who married the love of her life during a time of conflict with the Siamese. Her husband went off to fight in the war and her mother-in-law, jealous of her beauty, vengefully accused Masuri of adultery. Okay, so my first question to our panelists is to Miss Sahira. Okay, why we should preserve at the place? So, hi everyone. My name is Siti Nushaira. So, today I would like to answer a question from G about the heritage uh the historical site. So, uh, as you know, Masuri Ben Pandak Yaya is said to have been buried uh, at Kota Masuri on Langkawi Island in Kedah. So, according to legend, Masuri was buried where she spread his last after being sentenced to die in Pandak Masirai. So that's it. Thank you. Okay, sorry for interrupt, but can you give more clearly explanation about it? Yes, I'm yes, sure. Uh, so, so as a result, Maka Masuri we have been built uh, an equipment with a Masuri mini museum, a Masuri legend traditional uh, theater, and a Kedah house replica, which is uh, represent the popular Langkawi built half and house at the time and is said to be built on the former site of Masuri House should be so the complex also contain uh, a well known as the Masuri well in general. All Masuri related treasure are buried in a where she is buried. In addition, there are a number of historical relics and artifacts related to Langkawi. The Kota Masuri complex also features a uh, culture uh, performance and finally, Makam Masuri is a historic site in Langkawi that should be visited and preserved because it contains a wealth of information, culture, and more as well as strategic location. So next, uh, I would like to ask uh, Miss Puteri, which is uh, how are historical tourist attractions promoted in Malaysia? Okay, thank you, Miss Ira, for asking me. Okay, uh, it is uh, my turn to give a detailed explanation precisely as to how to attract many people to visit the tomb of Masuri. Okay, among the ways we can see in this day and age, many people use the website to get uh, many visitors to Langkawi visit the site of Masuri tomb. Okay, in addition, there is the use of other social media such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and others. The widespread use of social media can now attract many people to visit the Masuri site. Okay, not only that, uh, when it is known on the website, uh, that can attract the attention of visitors is also able to buy souvenirs with a Langkawi team. Uh, there is have interesting activities such as visiting Masuri, viewing replica, house, a show, witness the legendary theater of Masuri, and visit the mini museum. This can also attract the attention of visitors to join it. As we know, cultural heritage storage, uh, tourism is traveling to experience the places and activities that uh, authentically represent the story and people of the past and re uh, present with include historic, cultural and natural attraction. Okay, the cultural heritage is an appearance of the way of living developed uh, by community and passed on from generation to generation, including custom, practice, place and artistic expressions. Uh, other than that, cultural heritage um, also expressed as idea intangible of tangible cultural heritage. 
Okay, cultural heritage can be distinguished into three types. Built environment, building town caves, archaeological remains, natural environments, rural landscape, coast and shorelines are agricultural heritage. Okay, uh, cultural heritage tourism has a number of objectives that must be met within the context of suitable development such as the conversation of cultural resources, accurate interpretation of resources, authentic visitor experience and the state stimulation of the earned revenues of cultural resources. That's it from me. Thank you. Okay, so next another question to Miss Ifa. What are the objects preserved in local museum? Uh, okay, first, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ifa Suna Binti Srizan. Okay, let me start by saying a few words about the objects preserved in the local museum. Um, first, um, Masuri Tom is the crypt of the legend legendary Princess Masuri, uh, located in the village of uh, Mawad, uh, around 12 uh, kilometers from Kua. Um, it is also known as Maka Masuri. Uh, most, of, uh, most of the island's natural uh, attractions have pebble attached in two Malay uh, style and Masuri Tomb is probably its most famous legend. Uh, Masuri's tomb is believed to be the place uh, where Masuri binti Panda Maya was buried. Masuri's tomb is a place where Masuri binti Panda Maya is believed uh, to be buried in Langkawi Island, Kedah, um, Pokoro. Um, that, uh, the Masuri was buried where he breathed. Uh, he breathed his uh, last, uh, last after we, uh, last after. He was uh, certain to did in Padang Matsirai. The Matsuri um, area has uh, three or four traditional Malay house, including Rumah Matsuri, Rumah Penghulu, and two more houses behind it. Uh, the second place, uh, uh, the, sorry, the second uh, attraction is Telaga Matsuri or Matsuri Well is located on the outskirts of Kampung Kedah facing the west pe uh, pe uh, field. Telaga Masuri is uh, located not far from his tomb. The water of it, of this well was used for bathing and washing uh, when Masuri was born into the world. This well was used uh, until the end of his life and was, was also used to bathe Masuri's body. He said this well water can cure skin disease. Uh, visitors can fetch water using the bucket available. The third, a small village was built in the Kota Masuri Langkawi complex. Stepping into this area, visitors will be as if uh, they are in the past. Several traditional houses were built um, according to the architectural design of the time. Visitors can enter the existing houses and see the entire of the house. The Panghulu house is quite big. Visitor can see various exhibiting of information and interesting painting here. Some have been turned into exhibition space like mini museum. Visitor can see and learn about cultural design and architect architecture as well as artifacts in addition of uh, sorry addition to history itself. The last, Chak uh, Lempong traditional. The last. Chak Lempong traditional music performance. Chak Lempong is a traditional musical instrument of Minangkabau, origin that belongs uh, to the small gong family. It is made of bronze and uses a molding technique. Chak Lempong is easily played with the accompaniment of um, of other musical instruments uh, such as uh, suling bulo, salong rabana, that, uh, sorry, salong rabana and gong to accompany silai, tarian ling, but uh, Randai and Tarya Inai as well as song which song and singing. Um, that's all for me. Any question? Uh, yes, I have a question for you. So, what are, what are other objects in museum you can tell about? Um, as usually, a museum object is something uh, which is a musealized. A thing can be defined as any kind of variety in general. 
the Espresso Museum object could almost be a pianism in so far as the museum is not only the place which uh, shelter object but also a place which the principal mission of transforming in, uh, things into object. That's all for me. Okay, thank you Miss Ifa for giving your some opinion about it. So I will give uh, another question again to Miss Sahira. How do we uh, how do we educate our children on heritage preservation? So I would like to share about this. Uh, children in today's generation are not exposed to how to preserve heritage or learn about historics. As a result, in this section, I will discuss the role of parents in educating children on the importance of preserving in heritage of historical place. In the first role, we should take the children to historical tourism site such as Masuri Tom or Maka Masuri during the school holiday. It's that need to be care of for, for a person or to teach them to respect that state treasure. This is due to the fact uh, children can learn about the uniques of the item in the museum or historical story of the location was so titling pathetic fit in the self and learning the side effect of the events. So any explanation? Um, sorry, I apologize for the interruption, but I have to quickly let you answer this question. Uh, mm -hmm. What another incentive if parents are not allowed to bring their children to historical site? Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, apart from that, if parents do not have uh, the opportunity to visit Langkawi Island or bring uh, their children to histor historical sites, they can learn about the historical areas that occur that Masuri Tom or Maka Masuri. Because that now uh, technology has advanced and everything is not at your feet. So parents can share video or stories about Masuri Tom or Masuri Maka Masuri mm -hmm. or both have being published about her. Other than to be a minor effort, it has a significant impact on children learning about historic preservation. Thanks for you. Okay, thank you Miss Sahira. I strongly agree with your answer. Okay, let's move to another uh, to another question. I will give uh, one question to Miss Wani. What are the steps taken to protect uh, the place thank you Putri, for the question what are the steps taken to protect the place or monument the step uh, the first step is taken to protect the place is is to convene an awareness campaign to educate the community an awareness campaign can be convened to educate the community by letting them know what is the importance of to preserve our historical places and might as well attract them with the history of the place so they can appreciate the place. Other than, sorry. Other than that, the step also can be taken by our government to protect the place through making a strict government action to protect the place. The government, okay, sorry. The government can protect the place by producing strict laws, such as they need to take actions when there are people who were trying to vandalize the place. And that's not it. By, by offering tours, also one of the steps can be taken by us to preserve and protect the place as well. Truth offering tours, it will let another country to know this is a historical place which must be protected by us and can't let the place polluted by other people doings to ruin a place. That's it for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Miss Wani, uh, for your cooperation in giving a very beneficial answer for all of us. Okay, uh, do you guys have uh, another question to ask? Okay. If guys had any question, you can ask me. If no, we will end our meeting today. Okay, thank you to all our panelists for attending our meeting today. I am so appreciate that all of you can participate today. Okay, thank you again. Bye.
Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.